What is up guys, I hope you all are having a great day, my name is Morris and I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to do the full review and my honest opinions on the iPad Pro 2018 which I think is pretty dope and is really going to outnumber other tablet devices and other small laptops in the market. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. Let's start with the basic build and the hardware function. So if you look at the iPad Pro, it has got a unique bezel-less design just like the iPhone XS and the 10, but on a larger scale. And it has more battery and the best thing that I like about this is that it has a magnetic connector and has switched to USB Type-C so that you can connect it to an external monitor for multiple monitor use. Plus with the magnetic strip. You can attach the Apple Pencil and it directly starts charging, which is pretty amazing. Additionally, the iPad Pro has a beautiful display and the colors are pretty accurate. And the most prominent feature of the iPad Pro 2018 is that in some cases, it can outnumber the MacBook Air of this year. Yes, you heard me right. It can outnumber the MacBook Air. So most of the YouTubers and other people are considering it as a daily driver instead of a laptop as it has a thin profile and with the additional case keyboard, it really looks slim and can be carried easily. It's pretty lightweight and has a durable build so that you do not break it. The Apple Pencil has also got some improvements. It has very low latency and it really feels like you are drawing on a real notebook. So that's a pretty good thing. And the iPad Pro 2018 even runs the full Photoshop which is absolutely amazing and which surely makes it a permanent drive for the graphic designers and other logo making stuff. So that will be pretty amazing. So if you talk about my honest opinions, the iPad Pro is absolutely great and it is and it can be for everyone. It has got a beautiful display, check. It has got a strong build, check. It has got an Apple Pencil with low latency, check. So what do you need else? It even has got a USB Type-C port. External monitors, check. So it is complete book, but still in some cases it has less functionality than the MacBook Air and the proper laptops as you cannot run Premiere Pro and other a little bit heavy software, heavy video editing design or 3D CAD or Final Cut Pro, you are going to get some disadvantages there. But if you just want to use it for fun and a daily driver for checking emails, doing multitasking, watching YouTube, scrolling through Facebook and checking out your emails, this is perfect, smooth, fast and the best value. And also if you are a graphic designer and you want to photo uh, use Photoshop but on a slimmer and a lighter scale. This is also pretty good for you as it will provide you all the features of the main Photoshop that is on the desktop and I think Apple is also going to add support for Lightroom as it is also not that kind of heavy app, heavy program so it may very well run on the iPad Pro. So that rounds the today's video guys, I hope you had a great time watching the video and if you really like the video please be sure to give a thumbs up and if you really liked it please do subscribe, other than that thanks for watching guys, my name is Mars and I will catch you in the next